Call the meeting to order at uh, 1204 and report the members present. Wilson. Here. Simmons. Here. Uh, Babcock. Here. Reed. Morris. Here. Uh, item number two is a statement consent agenda. The following items may be approved in their entirety by the board upon motion made, seconded, and passed by a majority. Any member may request a separate vote on any or all items contained in the consent agenda. Nobody has any questions about that. I will make a motion that we approve the consent agenda. Second. Wilson? Yes. Simmons? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Morris? Yes, but I abstain on item number 324. Nothing on item three, and item four is uh, informational report, superintendent's report. All right, um, conference, don't forget it's coming up on the uh, 23rd through 26th in Oklahoma City. Uh, freezer repairs, the new compressor is in, um, and once it got installed, we found out what caused the old one to die. Um, there was, I cannot remember what he called them, some kind of tube um, that he was shocked it had those, but they had clogged up, which created it to um, get hot and so he's ordered those parts um, for that to come in. <coughs> we'll be here this week sometime to fix those uh, today or tomorrow, I think if I remember right. Um, the ag ceiling and lighting, um, <coughs> Klein will be here sometime this week to put in the new lights. The ceiling has been completely removed. Uh, all the debris has been disposed of and it looks really cool in there if you ever get a chance to walk through that old ceiling looks awesome um, so that's been done uh, we did get all of our <coughs> metal and everything to make the doors um, for the bathrooms and mr. Dave will be starting on that I believe next week uh, begin to weld and build those doors um, so hope that will be done by the time school gets started um, professional development tomorrow we do have our teachers um, we'll be here tomorrow for our professional development day um, looking for a very good busy day but a very good day um, then Thursday um, teachers are invited to go to the state engage okay conference at Woodward um, I know I'm going with uh, at least one teacher that I know of there might be a few more that goes this year let's go and I should know how many other teachers we had we're going we do have a lot of teachers out right now with some summer events uh, some of them are at um, the OSU Big Three days um, there and some are trainings today. Um, with ones going to training for FCCLA. I mean, just we've got a bunch of bunch of stuff happening this week, uh, but that's a good thing. Uh, Bank Central was here, and they're going to be coming back to continue working on the doors and the security, trying to figure out some of the gremlins on why some of the doors aren't working correctly. They did figure out. Now the gym door is hooked back in and it does work. Um, key fob, they had to rebuild parts of it. Um, and they donated some salvaged parts to ours that they had taken from an old building. So it was kind of nice that we didn't have to pay for some of those donations. Um, and then uh, we do have um, some changes and this will continue changing it just a little bit as we continue closing out the school year or the financial year um, we had uh, one uh, closed out some POs um, so our carryover balance now is looking like it's going to be around 856 um, for general fund um, and the uh, building fund about 175 um, which both of these general fund was a decrease of 105 at the moment and building fund is a decrease of 38,000 but that's kind of what we were expecting all year long we're just getting the exact numbers as we close POs out. And some of the POs we're closing out will are going to be open back up for this year. We just didn't get to that project when we encumbered those funds. So that's the report time. Okay, item number five is general discussion of possible action to approve writer classroom Spanish LLC. Um, since we did lose a Spanish teacher, um, this is. Uh, Randy Ryder, Spanish, uh, taught out of uh, Norman. 
it is not what you would consider an online computer class, but it is online. Um, we buy the curriculum, we have the curriculum, but it's taught via Skype. Um, so their certified teacher is there, and we have our teacher here, our staff member in the classroom um, with them, and they receive uh, Spanish instruction, interactive, not just here computer and take Spanish. So that is what Randy Ryder Spanish is. Anybody give that? Yeah. I'll make a motion. We approve the Ryder classroom Spanish. Okay, right, thank you. Wilson? Yes. Simmons? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Yes. Item um, six is building. A is discussion and possible action concerning maintenance of fire alarm monitoring system. Um, fine to get um, a bid in from um, statewide fire for proposals of some maintenance items. Go around, add some more. Um, first thing is obviously replace the control panel, um, which is will get us where we can start replacing other things. When we do that, um, we can add addressable smoke detectors uh, and some relays. Um, you can see the first price there um, for the panel upgrade is uh, $6,300. Um, and you can see all the items that are listed there. And then to add um, smoke detectors, 12 more smoke detectors around the building. Um, we currently have three. That would be 5,100 there, and then you see all the all the extra things. There would be some extra, a little bit of extra cost, and but replace wiring. But we're not expecting to have to replace wiring since the system's already here. Um, but if, if there's some things that we come up just like with any project, um, there'd be a little extra expenses of stuff we didn't see ahead of time. But that questions on it. If we do, y'all want to go forward with this or um, seek other bids or anything? Um, How much is it? It'd be a total of right out of twelve grand. And what are they doing to it? Uh, first thing would be replace the panel and that what's in my office. Yeah. Um, upgrade that panel, which is what keeps us in the old system and then go around and replace uh, the accumulators, um, swap out smoke detectors to addressable smoke detectors. And this will also give us a way when it does malfunction, we don't have to call someone and they have to come and test lead and go around that. It will actually tell us, hey, this is where your problem is. Such and such detector is not, not working. Um, so replace that and then upgrade the items that have to be upgraded to communicate correctly. And then the rest of it is just as we go. And then add, add the detectors, add some more smoke detectors. We have plenty of strobes, and those aren't detectors, those are just uh, alarms. Um, so we have plenty of strobes and plenty of uh, horns, uh, but we'd, we'd be adding in detectors. So the first like the, if we just did the, the panels, that would monitor everything we have, right? It would the, fir the first set, the 6300, would change the panel and the items listed there, which would then work with what we have currently. To go ahead and add in more adjustable smoke detectors and installation is another 5100 in addition. Right. You say we only have three right now, right? Correct. I don't seem like nowhere near enough to me to monitor this, this whole building properly. So. I think I'll, I'll make a motion if we approve this. Second. Wilson? Yes. Simmons? Yes. Babcock? <clears throat> yes. 
item number seven is finance discussion of possible action to approve the revised activity fund resolution. Uh, the, res the revision is the same. It's the same resolution that you've already passed. Someone after we passed uh, the one in June came in and paid some more money. So and this authorizes moving that full amount over in, from child nutrition. Make the motion. Second. Wilson? Yes. Simmons? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item number eight is personnel. Uh, proposed executive session to discuss Mr. James Miller, superintendent contract in accordance with provision of Oklahoma Statute 25, Section 307B1. For sure. I'll make the motion to go into executive session at 1215. You don't hear from you. You don't do anything. You don't have to report. Huh? Yes. 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 Item two then is acknowledge the board's return to open session at 12 8 19. No. Okay. Item three is executive session. Minutes compliance. Only thing discussed was item A. No votes taken. Item B is discuss, discussion of possible action to approve fiscal year 19 certified contracts for Sarah Bowman and Jennifer Rankin and Scott Rankin. Now that we've hired them, we're just approving that here's their contract. So moved. Second. Wilson? Yes. Simmons? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item C is discussion of possible action to approve updated superintendent contract. This is the Mike Yeah. Second. Wilson? Yes. Simmons. Yes. Babcock? Yes. Uh, Morris. Yes. Item number nine is new business. I have that. Item 10 is signing of documents. 